Even though the video you just watched was recorded back in 2011, in it, Dr. Kaiken describes a very advanced technology for creating prosthetic limbs, which is still very relevant today. Since 2011, if you look at Dr. Kaiken's more recent publications, you'll find that they have continued to make progress since that time, and his research has even expanded into knee and ankle prostheses. Now, the basis of these prostheses are electrical signals, or electromyography, EM, G signals traveling along nerves and into muscles. To create an effective prosthesis, the researchers need to know the strength of these signals and they need to make sure that there is minimal crosstalk between the signals. For this design challenge, we are tasked with helping Dr. Kaiken and his team develop a model of the EMG signals traveling along nerves in the body and into the muscles of the chest in order to control the prostheses so that we can test the strength or the detectability of the signals once they reach the surface of the chest and we also want to make sure that we avoid any issues with crosstalk between the signals. Note that the mean frequency of the EMG signals is about 150 Hertz and the di diameter of a major nerve in the body nerve is on the order of one millimeter. Think about what you would do to help Dr. Kaiken create such a model. Would you use FDTD? If so, describe the features of the FDTD model you would use. Or if you would not use FDTD, why would you not use it and what might you use instead?